We are preempting misinformation tonight to report a couple of late breaking stories, both of which we have learned about late in the day today. The first from Guantanamo, where apparently a prisoner has been able to surreptitiously make a phone call to a TV network from inside the prison. The Al Jazeera television network has posted on its website a transcript of the call. It's the first known interview with anyone imprisoned at Guantanamo. While journalists have been allowed to tour the prison, they have done so on the condition that they will not speak with prisoners there. The prisoner who called out is apparently Mohammed El Garani. You might recognize his name because a federal judge ordered him freed from Guantanamo back in January, about a week before President Obama took office. Despite the judge's order to free Mr. Garani and send him either to Saudi Arabia where he was from or to Chad. He has not been freed. He is housed still at Guantanamo along with other prisoners who the courts have ordered freed but who the U.S. government cannot figure out what to do with. Mr. Garani's name may also be familiar to you because he is the prisoner who was locked up at Guantanamo when he was only 14 years old. He was picked up in Pakistan at age 14. He has been in Guantanamo ever since. He is now 21 years old. In the call from Guantanamo, Mr. Garani alleged that he had been beaten with batons and tear gassed for refusing to leave his cell. An unnamed government official told the Reuters news agency that Mr. Garani made the call to the Al Jazeera network under the guise of calling a family member. He was supposed to have called an uncle. It would be against Guantanamo's policy if Mr. Garani dialed the number himself. That should have been done by a staff member or a guard there at the facility. Also, nobody knows why he had Al Jazeera's phone number. We will keep you posted if there's any further information or response to this first breaking news story. We also have a second breaking news story that we're covering. It is incredibly about another American flagged ship being attacked by pirates off the eastern coast of Africa today. No one was injured. The ship has not been taken by the pirates, but apparently a violent attempt was made on an American ship called the Liberty Sun. It's a container ship that, like the Maersk, Alabama, was loaded with humanitarian aid bound for Mombasa, Kenya. One of the 20 American sailors on board tells NBC News that pirates opened fire on the Liberty Sun as it attempted to take evasive action. The source said, quote, the pirates pretty much shot up the bridge, but no one was hurt. And in a statement released tonight, the shipping company that owns the Liberty Sun said the pirates also fired rocket-propelled grenades at the ship, as well as automatic weapons fire. Now, this incident apparently will delay the trip home for the Maersk, Alabama captain, Richard Phillips, who was rescued from pirates by the U.S. Navy on Sunday. He is on board the USS Bainbridge. He's bound for Kenya himself to be reunited with his crew before they are flown home to the U.S. Now, the Bainbridge will divert course to go escort the Liberty Sun, the ship that was just attacked. And Captain Phillips' trip home will therefore get a little bit longer. We'll be keeping our eyes on both of these breaking news stories over the course of the hour. We'll keep you posted as we learn more.